Hi guys, welcome to uh, All These Carp Fishing, I changed the channel name um, because <laughs> I don't know, I just felt like changing it because um, George made his, made his own channel. I'm here with him today for a 48 hour session down at Stones Fishery where George works with Bailiff. So we're on the Predator Lake. I've got the attraction liquids with me and um, I've got all the ones out on the spots. It's quite a small lake this, so. Uh, He's down that end, I'm on this end, and I'm in the bowl for the stretch, so hopefully, between ourselves, we can bag a new car for the cameras for you to see. But, um, I forgot my food, so that's a bit of a twat. I'm gonna starve, be skinnier than I already am. But, you know, it's fishing. I'll just eat the f I'll eat my receiver. Sounds good to me. Yeah, some golden albino. Right, so I'm just going to run you through the mix that we're using throughout the session. So I'm going to get my crusher and my manila boilies. Just crumb a few up into a fine powder. Chili hemp here from Crafty Catchers. I just put a little bit of that in. There's some particle on the bottom of the lake. Then I'll get some um, of this manila cloud liquid. Just take these PVA bags out of the bucket. This just clouds up the bottom of the lake. A little trick I'm going to do with that in a minute as well. So just uh, stir that up a bit, a fruity element, because it is still winter, even though it's warm. A few whites and all, mix that back up. Then I'm going to get this manila stick mix, open it up, and pour some of that in there. And what this does, is it creates a cloud, well, not cloud, it, it covers the uh, liquid and sticks to the bait. So it's like a, uh, like citrus cultured really, it just breaks down in the water. Put a fair bit of that in. The wind's gonna blow that everywhere. Just shake that about. Then I'm gonna get some of this uh, pellet which children blend in this. I'm not gonna take the mix and use too much. So just put a little bit of that in. Put some 8mm marine calibers in just for that more oil. Especially seeing as I have got a catfish rod out as well, I want it to come up into my area. So there's a nice range of stuff on the bottom. Just put a few more manila boilies in, just holes. On a nice sloppy mix so it spreads out on the bottom. Then I'll get some um, plum and scopex from attraction and just drizzle a little bit of that on because a little bit's enough because it spreads out like goo along the bottom of the lake and I might as well just put some of this new flavour that might be released soon if all testing goes well I can't tell you what the flavour is but it's, it is fruity, I'll tell you that um, but it's really good I've been using it on my baits today hopefully it ends up giving us a fish but I'm just going to put some of that in there a little booster and now we have nice mix to put over our baits. Just gonna run you through the rig I've got on the left hand with the carp. Same as the other one, it's just a hybrid leg kick instead. Another two ounce lead. Then 
then I've got it running to a medium sized car. Just on that flight back here, Eric. I made a video on how to tie them. We've got a size 6 Camacura white gate with a 15mm link and a, um, what's this, a topper in uh, a bit of armour to free. Just to give it the. Oh boy, Next. George is in. Oh! Is it? Lovely one and all. Yeah, he is. It's just the morning. George had that one yesterday, but we had nothing else in the night. So, um, I'm just about to go to the kids' lake, which has got a few nice koi, some bream, and just try and um, I save a blank. So, uh, I'll try and keep you updated if I have anything. over to some grain of corn straight away picked up a nice bit of fish all right so just had this on um corn and maggots on the float just in the reeds lovely fish nice mirror just had this nice common on the float that was on plain maggots with some ground bait on put some attraction liquids of crew and blood worm in the um ground bait and um nice seven pound common so yeah nice fish this little mirror another one this um took just maggots in that little margin by the reeds but uh definitely one of the nicest looking other than that uh, linear that I had earlier but it's really nice fish got some really nice little small scales there so yeah nice fish Oh, 
last knocking's near the end of the session, but we've gone and back that. Look at that, that's a proper quarry that. That was on a, just a single bit of corn. I've made it a bit deeper so that the fish hopefully were caught it, were coming out, not the carp, were feeding on the ground bait. And then this one, I thought it was just a little fish, a little, little knockings, and I struck it and it's come up. Proper, proper buzzing with this one. <laughs> proper. 